Hi everyone. Today we are going to talk about reasons why people do not meditate and how to deal with them. So meditation is not just about changing or becoming a totally different person or even becoming a better person. It is all about developing the awareness and gaining a healthy sense of perspective. You're not attempting to suppress your ideas or feelings. You're learning to view things objectively and gradually you may begin to understand them better as well. In mindfulness meditation, we learn to pay attention to the breath as it comes in and goes out, as well as to notice when our mind wanders away from this job. This practice of returning to the breath su- suddenly strengthens the attention and mindfulness muscles. This concept of mindfulness appears straightforward, but the practice takes very much of patience. Mastering to meditate is no different from learning any other skill. Regular practice is required to get comfortable and it is a typically simpler job if you already have an instructor to help you it but don't worry we have become at back. ease with your own thoughts there may be setbacks along the road but that is the part of the entire process continue to practice you're already doing a terrific job by turning up there is no such thing as flawless meditation your attention will occasionally stray or you will forget to track your breath but that is okay it is all a part of the adventure The most essential thing is to meditate on a regular basis and the journey is more essential and important than the destination in this case. Most often reported reason for individuals not meditating is predictably a lack of time. Even in the midst of a pandemic almost everyone feels as if he or she has much to do in so little of time to do it in. Nonetheless they always make time for activities that are important to them whether it is exercising watching their favorite TV show reading books or taking their children to a playground the fundamental issue with folks who claim they do not have time to meditate is that they do not completely understand the logic of its benefit since they have not yet experienced it in their lives the second reason why individuals do not meditate even when they wish to is the lack of knowledge on how to do it For some reason individuals believe that they should be able to learn the technique on their own. You can gain knowledge, cooking skills and others on your own. But if you want to do them well and get the most out of them, you should get some proper instruction and get some tips in a self-help magazine or trying to remember a guided relaxation from a stress management webinar is not a proper instruction. Meditation is not a passing trend. It has been practiced by people all over the world for ages. People have been practicing meditation for centuries in quest of serenity, happiness, change or a better control over their lives. Our mental condition is the most important aspect in determining our success and pleasure. A person can have everything and yet be unhappy, nervous, inadequate or any number of other unpleasant feelings. Meditation assists us in mastering our minds by focusing our attention. Consider attention to be a flashlight of awareness. Whatever we focus our attention on will be noticed and given the opportunity to flourish. Whatever we put in our attention is kept aside and begins to wane. People think meditation is just a fancy form of relaxation and self-hypnosis. Relaxation is one of the primary results of meditation, but it is also one of its prerequisites. It also relieves muscle tension and soothes the breath. Meditation guides us to deeper realms of awareness by combining relaxation with attention management and contemplation. Meditation is not the same as hypnosis. Self-hypnosis is often induced by verbal self-suggestion in which we urge ourselves to think, see and feel certain things. Many guided meditations would be better described as self-hypnosis or relaxation. The goal is to calm the mind and allow it to see reality for what it is. it provides us with knowledge enlightenment and a peaceful mental stillness for some individuals meditation might be boring if you go into meditation expecting an interesting and enjoyable experience you will most likely be disappointed meditation is not really about having fun but it is not always about having a negative thing many people practice mindfulness meditation because the tranquility and satisfaction they obtain are unlike anything else they have experienced in their lives before Meditation is a u- unique pleasure that does not rely on anybody else and can provide fresh adventures. Several individuals believe that meditation is abandoning one's current world and seeking to leave one's worries behind. Anyone who has practiced meditation for a reasonable amount of time understands that it is actually the other way around. Escapism is often characterized by distraction or unconscious or hindered consciousness. Meditation on the other hand removes all distractions and increases heightened self-awareness making it a very 
inefficient escape strategy if you approach meditation with a runaway mindset you will quickly discover that you do not run very far everything you want to avoid is right there in your head waiting for you however in the practitioner's mindset not their deeds is the true issue solution meditation allows you to come to know yourself better allowing you to see things more clearly and practice more control over your thoughts meditation may be perceived by some as an attempt to achieve a private secluded type of bliss practitioners frequently view things differently making time for them and participating in self care is their view meditation does not have to be as self indulgent as eating sleeping or taking a shower it has become an important everyday activity for many of us allowing us to live full functional and meaningful lives although meditation does not generate a visible product many practitioners feel that its effect spread outward positively impacting others around them as well as the outcome of their efforts in their personal and professional lives do meditation is still seen as not something which is very helpful some people are trying to make use of it there are a few hacks for people who cannot meditate but still want it firstly you should take a breath and count to 10 taking long walks might also help getting involved and playing with animals also helps to reduce stress and tension one might write a journal try to let go of your negative thoughts talking to people when in need sharing your feelings thanking others for helping be kind towards your own environment can also help individuals to cope up with stress and other mental issues such as depression anxiety and mood disorders for more such content do visit our website yourlegalcareercoach.com and do not forget to subscribe to this channel thank you